here before. Hey, afternoon, boys. Looking good, looking good. How you doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? All right, all right. We'd like to follow me. We'll take you in. All right. All good, all good. Lovely. Follow me. Please excuse the smell down here. <laughs> Bloody hell. What the fuck's going on down here, huh? Oh my god. Just up here, gentlemen. Watch your step, it's just been freshly polishing. You know what these uh, buffers are like around here? <laughs> right, Bloody let's go beautiful in here. place. I like the wall feature, you know, on the wall. Very nice. Yeah, beautiful. very That's, nice. That, that is actually um, hiding a very dangerous leak, but there we go. Jeez. Lots to go in, gentlemen. Thank you. Oh, wow. Hey, what's up, Solomon? Here we go. Solomon. Hey, Solomon. Nice. How are we doing? Doing all right. How are you doing? Not bad, Mr. Mayor. Look, you are more important than I am, so you sit in my chair, mate, right? No, no, I'm in your house. I'm good. Thank you. I appreciate it, though. Ah, well, I mean, technically, you're all in your house. It's your city, after all. <laughs> first things first, what can I get you to drink? We've got the finest scotch. We've got 12 year old proper Scottish stuff over there. Also, got some rum. What can I get you? I will take scotch. Thank you. Scotch. Beautiful. Yeah, I'll take scotch as well. Two scotches. Yeah, yeah, three scotches, please. Three, three scotches. Spells. Beautiful. Harry, I've got to ask, mate, why is it, and I'm going to regret this question, why is it every time I see you, you've got blood on you? Um, I have a lot of people working for me, and, uh, well, they make me really mad. Oh, right, okay. Really I'll mad. put it on my list of things not to do. It's piss you off. I'm going to wipe myself down. I didn't even notice. If you want to, mate, there's an ensuite upstairs. If you go up those oh, stairs brilliant. there, you go through the bedroom. There's a bathroom in there, mate. So you you help yourself. Appreciate it. There's yeah, something else I want to show you, lads, uh, later on. But we'll, we'll do business in here, and then we'll, I'll give you a, a tour of the rest of the facilities here. All right, oh, I love one. Hell yeah. First things first, you'll be very happy to know that those uh, that deal we did earlier flew off the shelves, mate. In fact, we've been asked if we can supply more than the two. Really? Okay. Yeah, one of the uh, one of our associates has asked, you know, what sort of pricing thank we thank might you. be looking at if we were to be passing him four bricks at a time. Okay. Uh, fuck. I'll, 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 I'll let me wait for him to start cleaning the blood off. I'm yeah, no, well, yeah. I don't want to jump ahead. I just thought, you know, it was uh, it was relatively hot information that one. I literally put down the phone to him maybe twenty minutes ago. Okay. Now, is this the person that you're outsourcing to? I'm assuming he's not somebody that works for you. He'd be a client. No, he's a, he's a completely different organization, mate. He's got, he hasn't got a Scooby Doo where I get anything from, and I okay. intend on keeping it that way. You know yeah, I mean? I'm gonna vibe I'm a lot too. And all that. You up there, Harry? Yeah, very cozy up there. Bloody hell! Nice, isn't it? You never have to leave this place. Well, mate, you wait till you you wait until we uh, show you what else we got in here, mate. Before you say anything like that. Here first things boss. first. Run. Flint, okay. you are a gem. So no you problem. all know. I don't think you've met Flint before. Flint here is my number two. Denzel Gentlemen, and Harry, and also, lovely to meet uh, you, Mr. Lang. Yeah, yeah pleasure nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Beautiful. Now, Beautiful. something else. She's a song though. We got we got to get the vibes right. Building, right. It's all him. He did the whole thing. Really. Yeah, yes. very impressive. Very First impressive time as well. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm, uh, he's, he's saved us a lot of money. It took how many, how many hours do you reckon, Flint, between me and you? We're and looking at about twenty-eight to thirty hours so far. Jesus. You know, I believe it. Labor of love, gentlemen. You you wait until we show some of the other bits, Harry, and then those hours will start to make a little bit more sense. It sounds I like can't anyway. Wait. So, I'll ask the question I asked before you uh, came back down again, Harry. One of my um, Hello, I say business associates has asked me what sort of price we could be looking at if I pass on to him four bricks at a pop. It seems that your product is done very well on the streets, you see. Mm, okay. So I uh, get back to him. The price he wants to buy it off you for? 
Yeah, man, I'm not going to fucking, you know, introduce him to you, frankly, because it, him and his crew tend to get in an awful lot of trouble more often than any of us would like. I don't think you need that sort of uh, relationship, you know what I mean? Mm. I mean, honestly, Solomon, it, it, at least in my opinion, that's that's completely up to you. I just, you know... Would you uh, would you still be making uh, would you still be able to be making profit at the forty a pop if you did four bricks to him? Um, or does he yes, want to come? Not, not not as much, but okay. um, I'm also a big believer in making a little bit less and cementing our relationship. You know what I mean? So I don't yeah. mind. Well, well, I thought I'd ask anyway. I thought I'd ask if you know what four bricks might look like. Give me a second. Be... Harry, you want to do a sidebar? Real quick? <laughs> that's okay I, I i don't think i think we I mean if you want I, we can give you the room lads i mean you know what i mean we can go and sit in the waiting room if you want to have a little chat no problem <laughs> wait my ticket expired say, already i was gonna say if you're cool with it harry we could do 35 a pop for the bricks. yeah i was gonna say the same thing honestly yeah, yeah. okay 35 well, seems like a sweet spot I and mean, you know maybe in the future we could come down but i think 35 would be good it definitely leaves you with room for margin for profit and you know you're kind of you're moving it all pretty easily as well so easy money i'll be honest with you i'm not i'm not one of those people that every week i'm gonna be knocking the door going oh look lads can i get another little yeah you know, a little bit of discount again i'm not like that i'm only asking because someone wanted to double the order value and the question was asked of me i'm asking you so if you say 35 to four at a time you won't hear me i can knock on your door for lower than that right i think that's very fair of you yeah i mean you can easily get 70 a brick Maybe uh, or a, you know, maybe more, depending on how desperate someone is. So I mean, that's you say that at the moment. I'll be honest with you, the cocaine market is fucking as close to being flooded as any market I've ever encountered. Every fucker. Oh, really? oh yeah, I bet it is. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> mate. Down in Southside, you've got people selling it ten grams, six hundred dollars. So if they're buying it at sixty k, which is usually if we only had a cocaine, I'm not Harry. They're breaking you fucking cocaine. cocksucker. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, it would be really great to get our hands on something else that's uh, more potent, but it's difficult to find out. I am very glad you brought that up. So, yes, I don't know. Again, look, at any point, gentlemen, you tell me, Solomon, we know what you're talking about. Shut the fuck up. You you boys have been here longer than I have. So, I'm going to ask you a question first of all. Are you familiar with a drug that currently goes by the street name of Zombie? Street name of Zombie? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. so Zombie. I was given, yeah, let's let me explain how it works and we'll go from there. So I was given a first hand, well, first hand, I watched it happen to someone else that wasn't quite first hand, I was second hand. Anyway, I was given a demonstration this new wonder drug yesterday, right? So someone I've got a very good business relationship said, look, Solomon, I've come across this new drug. Do you mind if I show it <laughs> on one of your lads? I was like, well, I'm not too keen on this. Before I could finish my sentence, he'd stab my boy right up into the fucking gut, right? Bleed, fucking pissing claret all over the floor. I'm in a panic, and he goes, no, no, don't worry, don't worry, watch this. He pulls out this syringe, stabs it right into his fucking heart. My boy, still pissing blood out his stomach, was running around like he was fucking on the 4th of July, mate. Like nothing fucking touched him. Now, he continued to run around like nothing fucking touched him for about five minutes before it wore off. But he went from lying on the floor, <laughs> thinking he was about to die, to being resurrected, which I believe is why they're calling it the zombie drug. Ah, okay. Ah, so that, that, that makes more fun. sense. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you could, you could call it resurrection, I suppose, if you wanted to. Either way, it's relatively new on the market, I'm told. And I do have a supply line. So I know, Mr. Lang there, you just mentioned you might be looking for something a little bit more, you know, a bit more potent, a bit more different than cocaine because it is a flooded market. And I thought, well, what a perfect time to tell you all about this. Yeah, I we might be interested in that, Solomon. I mean, the the only thing is, I don't I don't really know if we have a use for it right now. But I appreciate you coming to us with that. That's uh, no worries, that man. that sounds like that sounds like something. How's the uh, how's the weed business doing, by the way? Weed business is very very good, mate. Very very good. They're, you still you, can... you still buy them from people? Or are you? Uh... Yeah, mate. I well, we go through about four hundred pounds a week at the moment and if i'm honest with you mate if right if for example someone were to come to market with a strain that was both potent and it did one of two things either it was sort of market value but you could get 100 pounds a little bit cheaper than market or 
it was more potent, which means you get more money at the back end, but maybe the upfront cost is a bit more. Someone came up with a new strain, basically what I'm saying. You could fucking dominate that market because every fucking cunt with a car is shifting weed right now. Everyone. Yeah. If you only had cocaine, I'm hot chat. I, I'm surprised. Yeah, I, guys, I can't stop thinking about last night. Last night was crazy. People, I'm sorry, uh, chat. I'm out of this shit. A lot of people growing. Growing seems to be a problem for most people. So I've had a few conversations with a few of my associates, and th their plan was to start a new strain. Now, things didn't work out. They couldn't find a, a decent grow site. They haven't got a decent interior for it. It's too much time, too much hassle, blah, blah, blah. So it seems, at least for now, there's an awful lot of crews running around shifting other people's products. Right, is that a market you gentlemen are looking to get into at the moment or what uh i mean i was just curious i'm trying to i'm trying to put out feelers about marijuana shit like that i know you said you're buying from uh from somebody in the past but i didn't know I mean, if, if, you... You, if you want to mate because i've i'm two things you should know about me number one harry you thanked me for that information earlier if i learn anything on the street you lot will learn about it right if it's useful to you or not i will always be forthcoming i think mm -hmm. that's the best way of building this relationship Number two, I'll always be as transparent with you as possible in the interest of our ongoing business relationship. But I want you to know that transparency does not exist outside of this room. Catch what I'm saying? So I'll be transparent with you. But if someone asks me, for example, oh, do you do any business with uh, Mr. Denzel? I'll go, nah, mate, I met him a few times, but you know, no business. Catch my drift. Yeah, absolutely. I don't, I don't, yeah. even, I don't even want to know who you're buying the weed from. I'm just curious. Like you said around 400 pounds you're buying? We're doing 400 pounds a week. What's the going rate on that usually? At, well, it's st most people start off at 15k for 100 pounds. Uh, although we've recently negotiated down to 13k for 100 pounds. Right. Now those runs will net 40k at the moment. But the Ooh, top okay. end on them, the top end on them is 55k. Yeah, that ain't bad at all, especially if you're moving some, uh, you know, moving some dirty cash through there as well. Not bad at all. I'll be honest with you, mate. You can't move dirty cash through the uh, the weed. That's the oxy. You can do that. You sure? As far as I've been aware, having done it now for the last few months, yeah. Uh, if I'm yeah. wrong, That's I'm willing to be corrected. Jesus, it's been a long time since I've done a weed run then. Holy fuck. Mate, yeah, shit changes all the time. You oxy, clean though, a lot of cash through weed runs. 100% you can clean cash through Oxy, I know, because two of my lads are doing it right now. That's <laughs> crazy. Damn, well. well. I appreciate it. I did not know that. These are probably like, the only guys who fucking uh, are in the drug game of the, fucking uh, Oxy and weed. As, yeah. for, as far as the white, how, when would you want to re-up on that? I'm waiting to hear back from my main buyer at the moment because they're having an internal they're one of these firms that any decision's got to be made by every fucking person who's in it you know what i mean there's it's, yeah it makes it very difficult to work with them because i'm a big believer that if i'm sat in a room with you and we're doing a business negotiation uh, you've got to have at least the ability to give me a yes or a no at the time if every fucking time you sit down with them it's hang on let me go back and have a conversation with my knitting circle you know, it starts to get a bit draining. In, anyway, they've got an internal conversation happening tomorrow, and then they're going to let me know how many they want, two, four, or maybe more than four. So I will let you know, hopefully by this sort of time tomorrow, how many we're going to need, right? All right, perfect. We could do that. So that's that. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you do decide to get into the green market, please do let me know, because I can probably speak for a couple of different crews you know some of the smaller firms that were running around i could probably do like a bulk order you know what i mean on behalf of like three or four entities you know like okay. a thousand pounds first week sort of thing all right sounds good i'll uh we could be in touch we'll uh let me know tomorrow I, obviously if it's a larger quantity that you, you order i might need a day or two to fill it but uh we'll be in touch about the rio and uh, i think as far as that Maybe you can show us the rest of your facilities and we'll be on our way. Beautiful. Absolutely. Let me give you the grant. I've also got some pills for you, by the way. All right. Oh, yeah. And I, there should be some more pills. In fact, do me a favor, Flint. Can you give Jay a call, mate, and find out where his ETA on that next delivery is? Will do. 
Nice one, mate. Right, gentlemen, please follow me. Mr. Lang, you following follow me through? <laughs> there we are. Right. Nice to meet you, Flynn. You as well. Yeah, good meeting you, Flint. I'll be up in a minute. Thank you very much. Yeah, to give you a bit of history, me and Flint served in uh, Afghan and Iraq together, so me and him go way back. Okay. I feel like I'm in Peaky so Blinders, chat. Right? Really, what I'm showing you here is it's very easy for me to tell you how I operate my business, but the next one will show you how I operate my business. To caveat that even further, we don't just move drugs and products, right? And the rest of that will be explained when you come through here. Oops. Oh, Holy shit. shit. Thank you. So, any job we ever do gets planned down to the meticulous detail in this room. If we're doing a bank, if we're doing a jeweler's, if we're picking someone up, every road in, every road out, all of it will be gone over in this room, planned out, saved to an external hard drive that gets destroyed after the job. And we will run through that probably a couple times in person, do some dry runs, and then we'll uh, we'll take the next stage upstairs. If you don't mind following me upstairs for the next bit. Yeah, we do not fuck around. We're not quick, like a lot of people around here. It's good. We That's plan we out meticulously. You yes. You're probably going to be a bit underwhelmed, but I'll explain why it's empty in a second. This gentleman is our VR suite. And <laughs> what our capabilities in here are, we can rebuild any interior in here. Is it a bank vault, jewelry shop, <laughs> That's house, smart. whatever the fuck it is. We can build out that interior in here, and then we, I can get my lads doing dry runs of that interior for any job we've got planned. And that, that is, is fucking why genius. Thank you. That, that, that actually is Flint's idea. Genius. That's all Flint over there. Thank you very much. Yeah, we uh, see, we, we know what we're talking about. As I said to you downstairs, gentlemen, we like to take our time with things. we got to plan out. The job that's going to take two weeks, it's going to take fucking two weeks. Simple as that. I've been out there. I've seen what these boys and girls do out there. They fuck about. Quick as you like, zoom in about. You can't be doing that. No, no, no. <laughs> take our time. Do it proper. Do it right first fucking time. So we did it back in the home. So we're going to do it over here. Hell yeah. That's some old school shit. I like fucking it. Fucking old school yeah. as fuck. I like it a lot as well. Hell yeah, yeah. man, I, I ain't got time for these firms that, you know, they've been here two days and they've already hit five banks. You know what I mean? That's, that ain't <laughs> how we work. That's respectable. <laughs> yeah, also, it's gone gentlemen. wrong if we've got nicked. You know what I mean? So no yeah. plan has getting nicked as part of it. What also we could do is uh, high quality forgeries. And I want to share with you little documents, which we use. Oh, yeah. Go on, Flint. Show him, mate. He's, he, Flint is so fucking talented. Yeah, it reminds me of, uh, what was that other movie, chat? And there's a little document. Proper fucker. They are. Was it the gentleman? Not only do we give um, the document, we give a theme, the theater, behind said documents. Thanks, so that particular one there is our recovery. So I'll send out to a couple of our lads. They used it. They went and kind of move a couple of little motors from point A to point B. Sheesh. And they did get pulled over. The old Bill did question them, but they got it out. As soon as they got out, job done. It was on their way. Shit like that works. But not all the time. It's not 100% foolproof. But it's fucking blinding. That's just impressive. Yeah, well, like I said, mate, we, uh, the reason I want to show you this is I know currently a lot of our business is discussing, you know, products and the shifting of products. It's very important to me and Flynn and the rest of my business that you do understand that there is a lot more to us than just moving things from a to b i mean i understood with me bang in dude i like it if there's a you know anything you boys you know looking to get your hands on um you know and if you need a, any help with just give us a call and you know we can at least have a conversation about it you know yeah so, can I, so Harry, on, can I um, bob you for your phone number, please? And Mr. I was about Bins to do the same email. thing. Flint, if you take it down, mate, you just give it to me when we're done. So. There you go, pal. One, five, yeah, there's six, money at the bottom pick. there as well. Whatever your obvious yeah. paper trail and digital trail reasons. Blank. All right, and then mine is going to be 3812. 3812, yeah. beautiful. Yep. Excuse me, gentlemen. Hello, mate. Let the silence is a yes. Yeah, I'm still the mayor, yeah. 
So th this is like, uh, is this your place, Solomon? Or is it's like, entirely you know, mine. It's entirely mine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bread, butter, the paperwork, the whole shebang. Oh yeah. This is sick. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's still not finished quite yet. There's a few things we've got to do. We, we're building our own pub downstairs. You know, for, you know, it's important that the lads can relax when they want to. So there's, you know, there's, we've got pool down there, billiards, snooker, the whole lot. Hell uh, yeah. And then we've also got the office at the Cerberus Business Centre, obviously, which we do appreciate the offering that you boys do put out there and allowing smaller companies like ourselves to have an office. That was a lifesaver for the first month we were here. Yeah, all Where in all, I think... I think we've done all right the club. for the, the, the ecstasy. Mate, I would that, fucking give, is, I'd give my left bollocks to take, to take ownership of that. It's not being handled properly, in my opinion, but it is what it is. Tommy Cruiser I, looks after that at the moment. Oh. Sorry, gentlemen. Oh. Who's, who's what the fuck, Harry? Why would you even say that? That's mine. That's mine. Beautiful. I thought that was your your boys' at Solomon ecstasy. Mate, mate, if I'd been here two months and I owned everything I've already got, plus a nightclub and a pub, I think I might be a clinical overachiever. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, fair. You know, is I mean, I wouldn't Tommy mind Cruiser? owning it. Yeah, Tommy Cruiser. He's mostly around daytime. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, sort of a lot earlier than like, this. Is that like Tommy from? Is he? Is he bald? He is bald. Extremely bald. Yeah, almost Extremely shiny bald. bald. Yeah, yeah Tommy bald. used to work at the tuna shop, I think. He's uh, with Mandem now. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Sorry, okay. who's, who's uh, ends with eight four six nine? Uh, I think that's Langs. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, that's Very mine. Much. Yeah. Have we got your number? What was that, Solomon? Have we got your number? Who, Harry's? I... Yeah, yeah, Harry's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Harry's was the one above that. So like fifteen sixty five. Fifteen sixty five. Yeah, beautiful. You got it. Thank right, you. But Flint, you got all of them, right? I have now, yes. Banging. Okay, good. I'm fucking useless with numbers, mate. Yeah. All right. I well, appreciate the tour, Solomon. There's some good yeah. shit you got going on here. No worries, lads. I appreciate you taking the time out of your days to come visit us, uh, you know, us lowly people slumming it out here. Yeah? All right. It's a beautiful well, place, Sal. Thank you for, you know, for, for showing us around. I nah, appreciate it, Mr. Lang. Appreciate it. Right. Shall I... Uh... Walk you out. It's a bit of a maze yeah. in here, so I, I think we have, we, have had, we have had people get lost. So, although I think one of them got intentionally lost, he was Try cruising around and really some food chat. Good. Oh, shotgun! Can you get all the shotguns? shotguns. Uh, I could potentially. That's okay. a Denzel. Denzel. Yeah. Loves all right, you you ever think about it then, and you let me know. Also, what do you know about heroin? Uh, I don't know about fucking heroin. I don't really know much. Okay. I mean, the only reason I asked is I recently found a very good uh, wholesale supplier of it if you ever want to get more involved in it. Okay, perfect. <laughs> a bit filthy, Solomon, Matt. You yeah, know, really I, prefer, I prefer the clean. That's why I, I like I'm not coat. a big fan of it, but I've been told that the stuff designed over here is not, you know, what most people associate with that drug. Oh, <laughs> okay. You know, so it's been refined in a different way. It's cleaner. It don't have quite as much of the, uh, you know, the taboo involved. In And so I'll see if my boys got those pills and then if we can hand them over to you now. All right. right, mate, have you got that have you got that stuff for me? I'll be in the car, boys. Oh, <clears throat> Sounds good. I like. So I just want to snack on my food here. I've been eating all day. Travel all fucking morning. But yeah, man, holy fuck. Feels good to be back. We're on the back. Guys, today might be like a weird stream, like chill stream, kind of just get back into it. And then tomorrow we're back back, all right? We're in the Laker.